Oh god, yeah, this wasn't happening before. So yeah, we're definitely on a new one now. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a new one. Tragedy always strikes when one least expects it. But to wait for a man to stand before striking him down seems almost crueler than dealing the fatal blow while he lies on the ground. A light in a dark place. June's smile had given him hope, both for escape and possibly for something else. It was that hope that raised his spirits just enough that they might soon be fully dashed. He opened the elevated door, and there she was. A woman sat slouched against the wall. Lotus. June Pei felt his blood turn to ice. Her body was limp, and her skin smooth and pale as always. It was covered in bright red blood. June Pei felt his chest constrict. He couldn't breathe, and his legs began to shake. A slow, cold drop of sweat trickled down his back. He felt his stomach somersault. Junpei's mind went blank. All his thoughts replaced with endless, hissing white. Driven by little more than instinct, he began to walk toward Lotus, slowly. Each slow movement of his stiff limbs brought him closer to her corpse. Finally, he stood next to her. Robotically, he bent down and put his hand against her neck. There was no pulse. No rise and fall of breathing. She was slightly warm. Something, somewhere in Junpei's shaken mind, told him that meant she had been killed recently. Yes, Junpei thought, his mind slowly returning. She had been killed. Someone had killed her. There was a deep cut on the left side of her chest. Blood still oozed from it, although clearly her heart had stopped beating some time ago. The weapon had been a knife. Perhaps she had been stabbed in the heart once. She would have died immediately. It took little comfort from knowing she must have suffered very little. Only then did Junpei notice. Lotus's bracelet was gone. Lastly, left discusses how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways. Oh no, my hot gilf! Yeah, and unfortunately, she seems to be the first tragedy of this ending. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the backside of the mirror's heart rate has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Was that why the killer had ended Lotus's life? So that they might have the number 8 bracelet? If that was true, then the killer was whoever wanted the number 8 bracelet. Or perhaps you're more accurately, the person who would gain the most by obtaining bracelet number 8. Who is that? Who would benefit the most from the number 8 bracelet? The dot had only just entered Junpei's mind when... He heard a noise. A sound like a sharp knife cutting through wet meat. It struck him as strange that the noise came from inside his own body. A moment later, the pain hit him. It wasn't merely pain. There was heat, extreme heat as well. He felt as though molten iron had been splashed against the side of his body. Finally, his brain made the connection. He had been stabbed. But where? His body was quickly going numb. He couldn't tell where the knife had met his flesh. Given the circumstances, however, he had most likely been stabbed in the back. Whoever killed Lotus had now done the same to Junpei as well. <coughs> His voice was little more than a weak groan. With what little strength he had left, Junpei turned his body, trying to catch a glimpse of his attacker. But as he did, the knife dug itself in deeper, twisting viciously. 
sorry, I thought you were starting at six my time. I was a little bit, I was a little bit off because I am trying to fit this in at a time when Twitch was actually okay and uh, the time struck me as earlier because I will have to do something later this evening. So, I had to bump it up earlier. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thankfully, you basically just in arrived in time for the first ending. Otherwise, I had to re-go through doors, uh, the door six rooms. Not much changed. He collapsed to the floor, a puppet with his strings cut. His arms and legs lay where they fell, oddly twisted and awkwardly positioned. Junpei's body was entirely numb. He could feel blood leaking out of him, but nothing would move. It's okay, I've only been on here a while, but I was on the phone, so I had it on mute. Nothing save his eyes. As he lay on the floor, his life ebbing away, Junpei finally saw his attack. Two tiny images of the killer reflected in his eyes. With that recognition came... nothing. He felt no emotion. Not anger, not sadness, not regret. Paralysis that his claimed his body had reached his mind. But who was phone? His killer glanced down at his body. Then, without a word, climbed into the elevator and was gone. His eyesight began to fade. The world grew blurry and began to dissolve into an empty white fog. The fog crept into the edges of his mind and worked in inexorably inward. Soon it swallowed the last that re remained of Junpei's mind. His consciousness left him. There was nothing more. Into utter emptiness he fell. Into zero. Whatever Junpei had been was gone. get the last of our bad ends. Cut and run. We got knife ending. So yes, we will save. And our shiny new knife has appeared there. And it takes us back here. Which is perfect, because we need to go right back here. The one, six, and two doors. But seriously, whose was phone? It wasn't June, was one, it? Two, three, four. Um, All right, seven pieces. Going with some pieces from five, I think it's Ace in that ending. Because what happened was Ace could have... Stolen the nine bracelet from the ninth man's body when it exploded. Um, then he took Lotus's bracelet, who was eight. So that's nine plus eight is 17. The only way Ace could make it through the nine door would then be to use his own. The only person who could then make it through the ninth door would be Ace. So all he would have had to do was grab Ace, grab Lotus's bracelet, and he would have had three bracelets to unlock the nine door. That was it. That I, That's the only... Uh, conclusion I can come to with that information. Um, especially considering it's implied Ace went through the five door because Ace went through the five door earlier on this route. Um, so yeah. The culprit I'm pretty sure was Ace. Uh, they did split. Uh, June and Junpei did split but essentially what happened was they split up to search for Clover and then... <laughs> So that's the, I think, the implication of that part. All right, so seven pieces of paper. Just double-checking, but everyone... Yes. We're doing the exact we same thing in. here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Scoot past this. The first ace route. Yes, no. Next. But instead of redoing yeah. the door Over. six oh, route... There... No, there... But... We are now Just going to be someone. redoing I'm the door barely. one route. So... Maybe. Nobody... But... <laughs> we've activated a few things and done oh. a few things in the previous one. That should unlock June, a couple uh, of new conversations June. and thus yes. our final ending. So this was Ace. Ace and Clover get Seven. one, two, Seven. six. Seven. Okay. 
I want to go through. Now we go. Oop. Did that again. I keep doing that. It's already at the top. Door one. My choice is door one. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? Oh, yes. This is one the gambit revealed. Cheating? I'm asking. If you, how could I do? Let me see that. Sure. I had three pieces of paper ready. And I put the one with door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. And again, we're not choosing door two in that location because that would just take us straight back to the sub ending. Very well, we've decided who will go through door one. It will be Clover, Junpei, and myself. Our only problem is the two remaining teams. June and I want door six. Lotus and I want door two. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. You need to look up the sub ending. I wasn't here for it. Um, it was the first one I came across, but I forget exactly what that translated to in terms of like episode numbers. It was like, I know it was the first ending I got, so. Aw, uh, fine. Seven, we'll go through door six. It's, it's, the sub ending is arguably the worst of the endings. As, as in like, of all the bad, of all the bad ends that aren't the safe ending, because the safe ending is required. So of the non-standard endings, bleh. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> I don't know how I wanted to phrase that anymore. <laughs> of all the non-required endings, there we go. The sub ending is the most drawn out, but it, as a result, it's probably still one of the, it's probably one of the worst hitting bad endings. Sure thing. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. Besides, if we've got a younger girl with us, it'll lower the average age. Right, June? Uh, well, I... I am... Um... Eh. Pig. You just wait and see. And yes, we get our daily misogyny from seven. Old. Well, weekly at this point, yes. This is why men are such a pain in the ass. They're about as subtle as a brick. And they're at it again. I'll see you later, June. Jumpy. Don't make that face. It'll be like what Seven said. We aren't going to be, be split, split up, up permanently, permanently till we find Door <laughs> 9. What does Seven need to bang and get it over with? We might get, we might separated, get separated for a little while, while but we'll otherwise, otherwise we won't be able to... That's, that's how the notary... All right, this seems to all be the same, so I just need It'll to zoom fine. forward. All right. See. Just a little tiny bit. Here's a deck. <laughs> that should be it. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. It's just a Santa, a numbered door. There's the red. Now the two of you. <laughs> now, are you ready? Yeah, anytime. <laughs> Very well then. Three, two, one. And it's open! Where? There it is! Alright. Door 1 should be almost exactly the same in terms of the puzzles, at least at first. Uh, it stopped. Yes. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever... I'm not sure it's... We should finish this. <laughs> now then. There's another door. Let's try opening it. Wheelhouse? So, this is... Ace, you investigate the wheelhouse next door. Okay, is this the one that had it? No. I have all my cards over here. That have a couple of important solutions over here. There we go. I think this is it. Very well. Clover, you're in charge of... Uh, Say something. Okay. All right, then. Okay. 
And now, if I remember correctly, some of these conversations should change up just a little tiny bit. All right, so... Wooden box, maybe a case for letters. Those line walks, let's see what's in the blue one. There's something written on it, ship's log. Well, that's the file. I don't know why I had this thought, but I wanted to see the non game with the cast of Phoenix Wright. Oh god, that would be actually kind of funny. Okay, I just need to double check this. Southwest. Southwest to steer on the continent, then northwest. Port, then change your heading to east, then now do heading due north. Soon we will dock in United. Okay, yes. That is all correct. So the ship's log is in position. Let's see about the drawers. Left drawer, nothing. Right drawer, nothing. Here's our timepiece. Oh, pocket watch. Might and I take a look at here. it? Hey, man. What are you doing over in this room? Oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two of you. Is there a problem? Now, I don't think this changes anything, but I do want to say, yeah, there is. For just to see what that comes up with. Yeah, there is. You checked on us. Now get out of here. We split this stuff up for a reason, all right? Wow, we actually shocked him. That's a lie. We didn't have to split up the work. I just want to talk to Clover alone. That's why I sent Ace to the wheelhouse. There's something I want to ask her. And I don't want anyone to overhear us. Quit perving on me, old man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Clover won't talk if there's anyone else around. That's why when Ace showed up again, I got a little desperate. I had to make him leave. Oh, I see, of course. I apologize for the intrusion. Well, best of luck. <sighs> what was that about? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, uh, no, 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 it's not like that. What's it like then? I just wanted to hear the rest of that story. Oh. Oh. Are you referring to the ship of Thesis from last time? I didn't get a chance to ask you about it until now. What story? About the experiment, remember? The one you started to tell me in the operating room? Oh, so this is actually a genuine there's more about this. This route. That's interesting. You said something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm just not in the mood, okay? Uh. <laughs> Rudeness pays off. <laughs> you understand, right? I'm just... I keep thinking about my brother. That is pretty, pretty justifiable. I... I can't stop. I mean, who would do something like that? To my brother? <sighs> I can't forgive them. I'm not gonna let them get away with it. They're going to pay for it. I promise. So, so... Junpei, who do you think did it? Well, if what Seven said was right, then there would have to be at least two of them. You need at least three people to open the numbered doors. And if you subtract Snake, that means there were at least two other people. You're right. So, what does that mean? Well, if we just look at the bracelet numbers, we should be able to figure it out. Who could have opened door three with Snake? Well, really, who and who, or who, who, and who? You mean it could have been four people? Well, technically, it's possible. Um, I don't know. That doesn't seem very likely. Yeah, that would require a lot of people to leave their posts. And you'd think somebody would notice four people running off. Why? Um, I'll tell you later. Why don't we just assume it was only two other people for now? Okay, uh, got it. 
Let's do that then. Then who do you think it could be? Okay, it gives an interesting proposal here, and I'm not sure. So we need to have a three. That's the closest. Because June 6 and 7. The 7 is 13. That wouldn't be enough. 6 and 8 would be 14, so that would have to be 15. 7 and Lotus is 15 in itself, so plus. Oh, wait. So yeah, plus Snake, that would be 17. So I need to be like. You put. Bleh. Yeah, this right now is the closest. Because nothing else gives three. And I entirely doubt that based on other routes with regards to the seven. But it's the only combination, I think, that actually comes up with the eight, with the, uh, the 10 needed for this. So, yeah. I'm actually a little bit torn here because this is not what I expected it would be. Um, would it be Santa and Seven? The digital route for Snake, Santa, and Seven. Three! Wait, hold on. Are Santa and Seven the killers? <sighs> What's wrong? 